Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Matt. And we're the Beer Mats. Beer Mats. Beer Mats, Beer Mats. Beer Mats, Beer Mats, Beer Mats, Beer Mats. So on today's episode, we're going to be looking at the second of the Munich-based breweries from the Oktoberfest selected six breweries, and that is Hacker Shaw. I apologise to everyone in the German-speaking nations if I've said that wrong. So this is Hacker Shaw. Now, Matt, give us a bit of a lowdown on the history of the beer. Okay, so I actually really struggle with the second part of this name, Shaw. Shaw. I, I, yeah, I, I, we, we, we listened to a YouTube clip about to say it and I just can't do it. <laughs> this is a Munich-based brewery. From the information that we've managed to pull off the internet, we can tell that they started around 1400. Um, 1417, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, from some information it says that they could actually be 600 years old as of this year, so happy birthday to Hacker Shaw. From the name match itself, did start in the 1400s. It actually came later in 1793, following the marriage of Teresa Hacker and Joseph Shaw. Now, how they knew each other was from, again, what I've managed to take from the Hacker Shaw website, which is actually really, really well detailed, I must say. The link is down below. We'll put the link in. Teresa was actually the daughter of the master brewer from the brewery, mm -hmm. and Joseph worked at the brewery, so that's how they, they met, and the name derived from the union of these pairs. From that marriage, or maybe some school grandchildren, uh, there were two sons and they made the decision to split the Hacker Swore yeah. into two separate uh, brands. I do believe that's during the First World War, however, um, when one of the breweries was unable to continue, they allowed on Sundays of the week the other to oh, use okay. their, you know, they, were, they knew they were related, they were Comrade, separate, yeah. so yeah, they worked together during say, the war. They didn't actually merge back until 1972. Oh right, okay, so there you go. Very interesting beer bottle. It almost looks like... Look. Are there people running around? Is it like more to the Maypole type thing? Yeah, it does. It's, uh, it's like, it like a crown, actually. I mean, to be honest, if you know about that, well, then we'll, we'll give you a close-up of the uh, logo here, if you can tell us a bit of information about that. And actually, the bottle is right, it says 14, 17. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it almost looks like a carousel. Maybe the people yeah. are riding the carousel. We're not, we're not quite sure, but it's, it's, it's quite small. But definitely it's worth trying. This actually is branded as a Marsden. Matt, do you remember what Marsdens were? It beer brewed in March. Exactly. Marsden's yeah. Germany, so March. We were looking forward to try this for quite a sad reason. It's Little... got a really cool <laughs> bottle, and you don't see many of these in the UK. Yeah, at all. It's, quite, it's a novelty bottle, and it's it's quite catching. And I'll give the final fact: it's a 5.8% oh. alcoholic content beer. I think the only thing we do now is <laughs> let's drink some beer. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. That was satisfying. That was worth every minute. <laughs> Let's see if I can pour this better than I did on the last episode. Matt should be, should pour this better than I do as he is a trained barman. You, really? You've jinxed me because you poured it I have. Than, I'm yeah. not going to lie, if we just look at this. Yeah. I mean, actually, if you look, think, look at that straight away compared to the Polana, the, the colour difference. Oh, that's so much darker. So dark. I mean, that's full of life, actually, as well. It's really clear, do you see what I mean? I think yours looks better. I'll be honest, I think we've done that. You win this round. You're right, compared to the poor Anna, that's, that's so much darker. Okay. Let's just drink it. And as it's a German beer, we always say, Frost. 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 So what do you think about it? Ah, uh, there's, there's almost like a flavour. In the background, there's almost a flavour. <laughs> there's, there's no, no flavour. There's, no flavor. <laughs> there's sort of a flavour in the background there that it's not really sitting too well with me. I think it's, it's like a, not bitter, but I don't mean it's definitely a heavier beer compared yeah, to the Polana. I mean, I, I definitely prefer lighter beers, and if you watch the last episode with the Polana, it was definitely a much lighter, blonder beer. Yeah, but you say that though, I really like the colour of it though. The colour is beautiful. I, I mean, this is, is this is amber. This is like nectar. This is yeah. It's re it's you know, real. If, I don't know if the camera will do it justice. It's you know it's so, it's so you know there's something about it. Just it, it, I'll tell you what it is. It's I'm sat here in the jumper. It's pretty cold outside. And me, that is a sort of drink I want to be having. The yeah. winter's come in. Whereas the lighter beers are great. Uh, uh, I prefer in the summer. That's why we find in the UK, especially around Halloween, the hobgoblin beer comes out. It's a very yeah. dark beer. If that was had less life in it, and like, it would really be like a yeah. I mean, if this had less life in it, I'd swear that was a Banks's bitter. If you're not a beer lager pilsner, whatever, and you prefer your ales and your miles, it's bitters definitely. This might be the lager the one conversion for. for you. Yeah. I, I I can think of friends who would that would be the one they would rather drink. But I think I'm going to have a really good time too.